Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of splenic cyst. I don't know why, during our practice, we commonly don't take much care about the spleen ultrasound. We try to finish the scan of the abdomen with the spleen as I do commonly and we usually neglect that organ other than measuring the diameter. So we commonly miss small findings of the spleen. A 9-year-old female patient came for a pre-surgical abdominal ultrasound scan. She was a diagnosed case of atrial septal defect and before the surgical procedure, surgeons usually go for a routine abdominal ultrasound scan to rule out the presence of any other abnormality. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the long section of the spleen. This is the diaphragm, so this is the upper pole and air from the diaphragm, this is the lower pole and at the mid, this is the hilar region. And if you check carefully, you can see a well-defined round anechoic cystic structure within the splenic parenchyma. You can see this is the posterior acoustic enhancement. This is a thin echogenic septation within the cystic lesion. The surrounding architecture is completely preserved. There is no wall thickening or surrounding edema. Here's a still picture, you can see the cystic lesion. Make sure this type of fine irregularity is quite common, but if you see any thickening or surrounding hypoechoic ring, you should definitely look for the infective variety, among which the hydatid cyst is the commonest. Here's another picture, and you can see this cystic lesion with fine internal septation. The lesion measures around 1.5 cm. So, in summary, a well-defined small round anechoic cystic structure with posterior acoustic enhancement and internal fine septation is noted within the splenic parenchyma without any surrounding architectural distortion. So, this feature suggests it to be a case of splenic cyst. Now, the take-home message. Whenever you get a cyst in the spleen, you should check the history and internal debris and surrounding architectural changes to differentiate among the post-traumatic, post-infection and the infective varieties. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to visit imagingstudy.com for more cases. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.